Fike fans over here with Nicholas Renson. Yes. How are you? How's yeah. everything? Welcome to New York. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. How do you feel like here. right now being in New York City? It's a pleasure. It's first time here. Yesterday went to Rockefeller Center to the roof to see the whole year. It was nice. It's been nice too. How do you like the weather over here? Do you do you um, enjoy the weather at this time, at this moment, or oh, it's too cold for you guys? It's pretty similar. As, it's as pretty Finland. similar. Yeah, yeah. And actually, in Finland, like it, it sometimes it goes under under twenty Celsius minus. Oh wow! So so, that's so let cool. let's say that it's pretty cold too. Yeah. So I mean, let's let's yeah, say that have. you know it's kind of similar like over here, but I. I guess you can feel more, you know, the environment fresh and everything. Over here, you only see buildings. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So, but what can you tell us, you know, about your career? You are a professional boxer and everything. Yeah. How many fights, you know, you you've been doing as a professional? Actually, I don't count the fights, but I've been fighting something like I think I have 14, 15 wins. Two losses, one draw. La last last few years been been a disaster. Mm. A lot of injuries in my hands, and and uh, I have this. I don't know the English words. Yeah. Word, word word to it, but like my condition went went down down badly. Like oh, my, you yeah, you, my, you got injured. My I, I, iron levels. Uh, were, very horrible and mm, wow. I like um, couldn't create and yeah. there's a lot of stuff. Well, I'm so sorry but to hear, no, to hear that, you know what I mean? That's some, so that's some lessons, but I say, like like I was telling, you know, Eva, mm. I respect so much the sport. Mm. I respect so much the fighters, mm. because guess what? I know you guys go in the ring, you guys entertain, you know, the audience and everything. Mm. But at the same time, it's your life. So I always says, you know, we have to have respect for whoever loses and who, for whoever wins. That's true. Because to make a fight, it needs two people. So That's true. It's even though if sport. you, let's say, if, even if you got some losses, as we can count it as a lessons. But I respect much, you know, whoever, like I said, whoever loses because this is a sport that, you know, anybody can criticize easily. Yeah. can say anything oh you know like this guy didn't do anything in the ring such and such you know blah 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 but at the same time you know they're not in the ring these people so yeah. let's i always said you know i always trying to use my platform and tell you know people hey let's you know consider a little bit these people because these people work hard yeah. they train hard so i think they they deserve respect that's so. a good message and i think everyone deserves respect and love and that's what it's that's what the world is all, world is all about you know yes love yes. and respect love and, and respect sharing exactly sharing and you know giving exactly that's yeah. true and um how, how do you see this right now this car going you know, a rocky fielding against Canelo. It's an interesting fight because the fielding, this fielding guy, he's very he's, tall. He's very tall, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I see Canelo win. But but it's an it's interesting to see how how he how can how, you know how yeah, this how, fight is gonna happen. How do you, does it? Yeah. I think. Uh, I think it's gonna be very interesting because I would like to see what rocky fielding is. Is bringing against Canelo. Canelo, I I think you know as far as I see, he has experience. I'm not saying you know, and I'm not taking anything away from Rocky Fielding. Rocky Fielding is a champion, and he's a champion for a reason. But uh, I would like to see what he could bring uh, against Canelo. Yeah. Um, we just gotta you know be there on Saturday night and every and and see you know like how it goes. You know, yes. what can you tell us about you know your wife? You know, like. The preparation that she does in the ring, and when she comes home, what, what can you tell us? You know how how she combine her life. Well, she's amazing. She's an amazing person. Uh, like we see and try to see life. Like it's just you know, there's life and then there's work. Hmm. 
So, so let, of let, course, this boxing it's kind of life, but yes. still like it's not identity, identity, you know. Yeah. So I guess when she comes home, she's Eva, and she leaves the other person in the ring. I guess like yeah. in the gym. I mean, in the gym. We, yeah, we we do a lot of arts. She she paints. I pl I, I play drums and and you know we try to involve this uh how to say it in English. we try to do a lot of different different things you know just get rid of this boxing life like conditioning and everything i would say no 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 like like to live live different kind of life than oh, like, always this boxing you know oh like we, normally like stepping yeah. out a little bit outside the kids, boxing kids, yeah kids are important and, and family and and friends and and our art and everything it's there's a, a lot of more more important things in life than boxing oh yeah it's true i mean let's not forget i mean let's not forget you you mentioned right now you have kids you have family so I know what you mean when you say that you're trying to do other things, you know, out of boxing because you're not, I mean, you're dedicating, of course, on boxing, but you also want to spend time with the kids and do normal things, you know, like everybody does, you know, like maybe I'm assuming that you're going to the movie theaters or walking at the park, something like that you mentioned, right? So that's pretty interesting. I mean, that's something that, you know, that the fight fans, I know they they love to hear that because we seen the boxers sometimes, but we don't know like a hundred percent the lives, you know, like how they doing. Mm. And it's interesting for me and for a lot of people that are actually going to um, to keep and watch this interview because they will know, you know, what you guys do outside the box, the boxing world. So, um. How do you see, you know, Katie Taylor will go against, you know, your wife? Is it is it kind of hard for you when you when you see your wife going in the ring and? Well, how do you feel and on? You feel kind of like you want to. I wanna trust her skills. Mm -hmm. And and I I know that you know this like hard side of the sport. I've been I've been there. I know the I know the sport and I've accepted accepted that bad things can happen but of course uh, um, especially when we're coming to this fight uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more nervous than, than the other fights yes but I see I see Eva has a lot more experience than Katie um, and I think the the more rounds we get uh, in the bank, I think it was gonna be stronger. Mm, so after passing a little bit, you know, like a few rounds, we're gonna see Eva stronger and yeah. developing more, you know, their, yeah. you know, her skills and everything. Wow, that's interesting. That experience talks a lot. You know. That's uh, that's amazing. Um, I I definitely, you know, want to uh, tell the fight fans, you know, that. Let's not miss this fight, and we're gonna see it. Is there any message that you would like to give? You know, to you, you know, the people that support your wife, the people that support yourself, and everybody that loves boxing. Uh, one love, Jesus Christ is the King. Amen, amen. Thank you, appreciate it, and you know, wishing you to your wife the best, and also yourself too.